Today on TV Box Stop, I have a collaboration between my channel and the developer of the ATV Experience Custom ROM, for owners of the A95 X Max TV Box the most popular TV box for 2019. This custom ROM is for those who have been desperately trying to update its firmware and have had no success. Since the Poison ROM video I have been working with a developer to create custom ROMs for S905X2 chipset, and this process has proven to be a challenge since some of the boxes contain a special encryption that made it difficult at times. However, with the expertise of the developer along with me providing some hardware assistance, would like to release the first version of the ATV Experience custom ROM for the A95X Max TV box. So after the break, I have a short tutorial on how to install the custom ROM and some of the features it provides, so stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back. On the behalf of TV Box Stop, I would like to thank the developer Niam Amershe, the lead developer and his team on the ATV Experience website. They are some very young talented developers featured on the XDA Developers Forum and would like to give them full credit for taking the time to develop this firmware for us. This release is just the first version based on Android TV 8 Oreo operating system and will be releasing an Android 9 version in the near future. So if you have any technical questions about the ROM, feel free to sign up to his website or subscribe to his channel, where he will be happy to assist with any questions. Likewise, you can post questions on my channel about the installation process and features of the ROM on the box. To register or to subscribe, see the links in the description area. So to successfully install the latest ATV Experience custom ROM you would need just 5 things. A Windows computer of any kind, once it is running on Windows and it has a USB port. The latest MLogic USB burning tool. You will need to download the custom ROM and license key from the ATV Experience website. A standard mail-to-mail -mail USB cable. And the A95X Max TV box itself. There's no need for a toothpick, the power adapter, or the reset button for the flashing process, which avoids struggling to connect the box to the PC. The first step is to download the ATV Experience Custom ROM and the USB Burning Tool program into separate folders and extract them like this. Next, open the folder with the burning tool and install the program like this. The next step is to open the folder with the ATV Experience ROM. What you are supposed to do is copy and paste this file which is your license key into the license folder of the burning ROM tool. But what actually happens the first time you install the burning tool, the folder is not created until you run the program and load up a firmware. So you can do two things. You can copy the key file and create a folder called license and paste the key into the folder you created. The second option is that you can run the tool and load up a firmware and then return and paste the key into the folder. For this demonstration I will create the license folder.
The next step is a little unusual from how we normally flash our boxes. Open the burning tool and under the first tab which is the file tab. Click import image and browse to the folder where you extracted the ATV ROM and select it. The next step is a very important step, so pay attention. Once you have successfully imported the ROM, there are two things you have to look for. At the bottom of the programs panel, you are supposed to see the full path of the ROM in its folder. This indicates that the ROM has been successfully loaded, which is also confirmed by the word success. The other thing to look for is the license key showing up in this section here. If you are not seeing either of these, just go back and repeat my previous step until you see it appear. Don't proceed unless you see the ROM and the license key. Before you initiate the flash process, you have to make sure you have the correct settings. By default, Erase Flash, Normal Erase, and Erase Bootloader are supposed to be checked. The rest of options are supposed to be unchecked, including the checkbox for the license key. If the tool was previously used and these options were somehow changed to flash another ROM, then set them exactly as you see on the screen. At this point I would normally instruct you to connect the box to your PC, but like I said earlier, this process is a bit different. Click the start button and leave the program open on the screen. Remember, do not connect the box to your PC before all the steps I have just outlined. The next step is to flash the ROM, and this is the final and easy part. Using the mail-to-mail -mail USB cable, connect one end to any USB port on your PC. Then connect the other end to the USB 2.0 port to the back of the box. And that is the USB port between the power adapter input and the HDMI port. Once you plug it in, the burning tool will do the rest. Once the burn process is complete, the color will change to green and you will see 100%. It took 3 minutes 33 seconds for the process to complete, using the Minisforum U300 used in my last mini PC review. I sped up the video for the sake of time, so just take note of the time it takes to complete. Now that you have successfully flashed the ATV Experience ROM, the only thing left to do is to remove the USB cable from the box and connect it to your display as you normally would, and allow the boot-up flash process to complete. During the first boot-up process, you will be greeted by the ATV Experience boot-up animation which is very nice indeed, unlike some of the boot-up screens we have seen on this channel, so good job to the ATV Experience team for the graphics design. During the first boot process, only once will you be greeted by a distorted screen for almost a minute. This is totally normal, and it's something I have noticed with the S905X2 chipset and custom ROMs, but rest assured, it is loading in the background and the process will complete and you won't see it again. Once this is done, you will be taken to an Android TV startup wizard. When this is completed, you're then taken to the launcher. So this is the ATV Experience Custom ROM, and as you can see this is the full version of Android TV operating system. Let's take a quick run through of its features. Before I continue, I would like to inform you that the custom ROM is not certified, so features like Google Cast that require certification will not work. To get all the special system setting from the old firmware, you have to open the apps section. Here they have included an app drawer, which is similar to the sideload launcher application. 
In this section you will see all the apps you have sideloaded along with all the other apps install on the box. In this section, there is also a system setting. In this special setting, here you will find all the features of the old firmware. You still have the root switch. Four K resolution up to twenty one sixty P settings. You still have Dolby Vision. Digital surround sound audio settings. And you get access to developer options. The custom ROM is rooted, running on Android 8.1 Oreo operating system. The DRM information shows the ROM only has Google Widevine Level 3 and no HDCP protection. Netflix will only show in standard quality. Its system and hardware settings has remained the same. And now a quick look at its benchmarks. YouTube plays in 4K quality. Netflix plays in standard quality, from version 6.12.1, or use the version from on the Aptoid App Store. Android TV does not come with a navigation bar or notifications bar. Well that's not an issue anymore, since I solved that issue with the menu button app and the snowball app. See the links on my website. So in summary, the ATV Experience Custom ROM is still a work in progress, and I have already gotten word of an update to fix some minor bugs in the ROM which will be available on their website. So that's some great news. At least we now have a way to flash the ROM and perform future updates as they are released. So thanks again to the ATV Experience team for releasing this ROM, be sure to register to their website for ROM support because I am not the ROM developer. Links to the custom ROM and the USB flash tool can be found in the description area. Give this video the thumbs up and show them some appreciation and support, and subscribe to my channel for more TVBox presentations.